hello everyone so today I'm gonna start implementing the gun blueprint so at the moment I don't have any gun impacts so bullet particles or bullet trails or anything only the muzzle flash and the sound so that's the part I'm going to cover today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so this is how it's gonna be when I press my left mouse button uh, a bullet will go from the gun and it will hit whatever the point that is uh, match with the reticle so there will be a uh, impact particle and also impact decal let's first work on the input part of this so let's go to project settings and under input I don't have a fire input yet so let's add one fire and for the key I'll add mouse left mouse button and then let's open our character blueprint right so here under shooting I'll add fire action like this and also I'll add another function here called fire so uh, I'm gonna use this for NPC characters so I'll add that too alright so what should happen when I fire at the moment my gun is just a, a static mesh uh, so no not a static mesh a skeletal mesh but mm, yeah I don't need this anymore I'll delete it uh, so yeah yeah wh what I was saying is so this is just a skeletal mesh but uh, the problem is uh, later on I'm gonna have to have different types of guns so therefore instead of just using this as a static uh, skeletal mesh I'm gonna make a new blueprint for the guns so right let's go to BP and add a new folder I'll call it guns right let's open it and here under the default scene root let's add this rifle like this and compile now for the moment I don't have any other functions here I'll add them soon but let's just add this to the soldier like this uh, it should be under the rifle hand socket okay everything is fine now let's see where uh, I have used rifle okay I have one more reference so instead of this get rifle where is it right here instead of that I need to replace it with this BP gun alright so for the gun also I'll implement a new interface
I'll call it PPI gone and here what's the method we need get socket transform so now get weapon socket okay and it should have a output type transform socket transform compile right now let's use that implement that interface here ppi gun and right now we have that interface method here so we can use this all right first i need to get the socket name let's add it also here now we can copy the same method get socket transform I need it in the world space oh. return type should be transform and the socket name is this all right uh, now we can use this method here instead of this get socket get weapon socket using bpi gun interface and output it like this be safe let's use this also right now we can delete this gun mesh let's see if everything is all right okay it seems not I'm not getting the correct location of the hand that means the correct gun socket so something is wrong with this one what could be the issue let's use that and see right now it's okay <coughs> all right so now let's add another method to bpi gun i'll call it fire so if this is a automatic gun uh, then it should keep firing if i keep pressing the left mouse button so to implement that I'll add another input here start stop in the type of boolean okay 
now let's implement that function here like this the event graph fire event if it is to start I'll promote this to a variable firing mm, we can just use it like this if firing is true I'll do this um, I have used I have this muscle flash particle effect and I'll do another episode uh, on how to create this effect for now I'll just use it so what should I do is if I am firing I should spawn particle we can uh, attach this particle effect to the gun like this it should be attached to the nozzle of the rifle at the moment I don't have such a socket so I'll add it Joint five, okay, okay. I'll just duplicate. No, add socket. So this is the place that particle effect should appear so I'll call it nozzle save and now I should wait still I can't ah okay should be here all right so now as you just saw that's how you will see the effect so I'll disable the auto activate because I don't need it to appear once the gun is on the hand without firing now uh, let's go to our gun and here if I am firing I'll activate activate this particle effect and add the delay of uh, I'll promote this to a variable I'll call this uh, mm, this is actually this one represents the difference uh, the delay between two bullets so I'll call it bullet delay
point two. Let's say point four. Okay, and connect it here again. Also, I'll play a gun sound here. Play sound at location, and the location is get actor location, and the sound is for the sound also. I have imported a sound effect this one uh, I'll just use it here right now in the soldier under shooting if I have pressed my mouse button let's get the gun get child actor and fire using VBI gun to start and once I release the mouse button I should call the same method with the false alright let's see what happens I'm gonna press left mouse button now okay I think the delay is too much for a uh, automatic rifle I'll decrease this to point 0.1 but then the problem is I can hear the sound but I don't see the muscle flash that's because this muscle flash once it is activated it will be there until it is inactive until it is finished so maybe after this duration if I disable it And activate it again I think it should work let's see right it is working and at the moment I don't have any bullet impacts so bullet uh, trails or anything only the muscle flash and the sound so I'll stop this episode at this point and in the next point in the next episode I'll start implementing the bullet trails and also bullet impacts and bullet hit damages and everything and thanks for watching so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye